Assalamualaikum and hi, in this video we will explain about our project which is Skepo Park and Drive and College Kediaman Tan Sri Ashraf Ghani Unimed. Before we started our presentation, we would like to introduce ourselves. My name is Muhammad Akmal bin Hamid Zaki. My matrix number holder is 191192427. My name is Muhammad Habib Zaki Bin Maglan. My matrix number is 191192478. My name is Muhammad Ali Ifan bin Muhammad Rizwan My metric number 191191477 My name is Muhammad Ali Nanti Mian Jirin And my metric number is 191192429 My name is Muhammad Danish bin Badrul Azmi A card metric holder 191192428 Hello, my name is Muhammad Izzan bin Maha And my metric card is 191191476 Generally, this project is for adding facility for students who want to skate at Unimed And you want to avoid accident when students skate in public area Skateboarding injuries have increased with the rise in popularities of the sports, and the injury pattern can be expected to have changed with the development of safety in uh, both development of skateboard tricks and material used for skateboard construction. As we all know, skating is an extreme sport that uh, requires its own space to skate. Thus, we want to provide service as a skating park at College Development Tentang Sri Aisyah Gandhi, especially for all the UMAC skaters. This service will be conducted at Wangulu Field because it was totally separate from public space. Therefore, this will avoid sector from getting complaints from other students. The main problem if you don't have skip park is the student often to play at the roadway and public area. It will cause noise nice disturbance for other students. In addition, student safety is, safety is also in danger if they continue to play on the roadway because there's too many vehicles using this, the same road every day. Method that has been used to collect the data and information to complete this report is by survey. The way of it is an online survey. Survey is used most often to describe the method of gathering information from a sample of individuals. This sample is usually just a fraction of the population being studied. Thus, survey research is quickly becoming the number one of tool that market researcher uses to gather data. The advent of online survey tool has led to widespread use of quantitative survey in order to collect analysis and use data that can contribute to a more effective business model, better marketing strategies, improve customer service, and more. Moreover, by online survey, this method can have minimal cost, it's easy to assess, and the results are quick to get. Using online survey significantly reduces the set up and administration costs. There is no money spent on paper, printing, or postage. Money is also saved as telephone and in person survey are no longer necessary. Next, accessibility by administering your survey truth and online system increase accessibility. We can send a link to the survey via email and set up subsequent reminder through the online feedback management system. Respondents then have a variety of ways to access the questionnaire, including mobile devices, tablet, laptop, desktop computer, and more. Lastly, quick results are a major benefit of a user online service is that we receive a real time result. As soon as participants have completed the questionnaire, we can view and analyze the responses. This allows an organization to analyze the feedback and quickly address any issue or concern. Truth and online feedback management system data can quickly be tabulated and presented in a variety of report format. Sampling type of sampling that has been used on this report is purposive. Purposive sample is a sampling technique in which a researcher relies on his or her judgment when choosing members of the population to participate in the study. Thus, this method has been chosen because of the facility that will be added only at College Kediaman Tan Sri Ashagani, Kiketek, Wangulu. So our aim is a student who are staying at the Kiketek as our respondents. As referred in section E for personal information of respondents, the sum is 61 total respondents involved in the survey. More details will be explained. This figure one shows the pie chart that 57.4% of respondents are male, while almost half, which is 42.6% of respondents, are female. This pie chart result shows male respondents dominate this survey with 35 respondents and they seem really interested in this project. Even though the respondents from the female are just 42.6%, which is a 26 respondents. Next is the age. From the figure 2, 75.4% of respondents aged between 21 and 23 years old dominate this survey with 46 respondents. It seems this survey has picked the interest to fill this form. Over 19.7% from age 24 to 26 years old, which is 12 respondents, and 4.9% from 18 to 20 years old of respondents have filled this form, and it's significantly less than compared to 75.4%. Thus, in this College, we assume that most students in Kenya take average age between 21 to 23 years old. Next, we're gonna look at the rest for the faculty studies. From the figure 3 shows at the pie chart and that 72.1% of respondents are from FTKK while FTKA, FTKE and FTKM, each of them respondents has filled this from as much as 6.5%. It's such a huge difference in this result that respondents from FTKK has taken over this survey. It is considered that mostly students in KK Tech are from FTKK rather than other faculty. The other result is that 5% of the respondents are from FSGM, 3.2% of respondents from FTKEN has filled this from and both of these different just significantly less. Lastly, we're going to look at a respondent year. 
which is applicable for shows headed by Chad that result at 75.4% of respondents from year 2 have given a full cooperation to help us build this survey and to collect the data. Next, 9.8% of respondents from year 4 at 8.2% of respondents from year 1 have to fill this form. The comparison between these both is just a slight difference but compared to the respondents from year 2, it has been significantly higher and there seems a huge gap between them. Last but not least, the Dev 6.5% of respondents from year 3 have completely filled this form with just a little gap between year 1 and year 2 but not influence this chart as much as year 2 respondents. Okay, Assalamualaikum. In this section, we will discuss the problem and question that we'll face in Scaboring Park project is to be built. Based on our survey, we can have identified several problems where respondents do not have skateboard and lack knowledge about skateboard. Besides that, the problem to think about is, uh, will the skateboard park be able to attract many students and will it be able to help them to really stress? Next, there are problems in terms of construction costs and so on. All problems can be seen in this video. Problem 1. Don't know how to skateboard. Figure 4.1 show that 67.2% or 41 of respondents do not know how to skateboard compared to the respondents who are just over a third which is 32.8% that do know how to skateboard. Problem 2. Don't have a skateboard. Figure show that above a quarter of the respondents have their own skateboard while most of the respondents with 72.1% do not have a skateboard. Problem 3 uh, Respondent don't have enough money to buy skateboarding equipment uh, The chart show more than half respondents said that they don't have enough money to buy skateboard equipment with a percentage 50.8% And almost half respondent was adequate of money to buy skateboarding equipment with percentage 49.2% which is 31 of respondents Problem 4. Does skateboarding will attract students to join for continuously or just temporarily? The chart show that the sport of skateboarding attracts in interest of all group of students continuously or only temporarily with 67.2% of respondents say that skateboarding will attract the interest of all of group students. We are then 29.5% respondents say that will be just temporary. Then, uh, the 3.3% of respondents say no interest at all. Problem 5. That scaffolding can make students interested. The chart show respondents interested in scaffolding or do they have other interests? 80.3% of respondents agree that they are interested in scaffolding. 13.1% uh, choose that they don't have interest in scaffolding. Then a smaller number of other respondents say that they have other hobbies but some of them still want to try skateboarding. Problem C is skateboarding can really stress among students. The pie chart show respondents that think skateboarding can really stress. The majority agree with the statement that highest percentage was 90.2% and the, the percentage who disagree was only a small number. Moreover, a small circle also said that they might agree because they have never been involved in the sport of skateboarding but they are interested in this sport. This sport. Problem 7. To find suitable place for skateboarding. Uh, from the bar charge, we can see respondent will currently get skateboard. 47.5% of respondent got to skateboard on the street which is higher boat. Next. 34.4% of respondents go to skateboard at the college open hall and 45.9% respondents go to skateboard at another skate park. Besides that, eleven more type of sporting I don't skateboard, never, did not, never play it, corridor college, never try, I don't know, home, never go experience, and none get. 70 and 6 percent which is uh, 1.6 percent each type. Problem 8. Uh, the problem to encourage students to take part in skating. The, the bar chart show uh, the first bar, bar graph students that are not interested in skating with 80 percent. Then the graph height list spikes to 50.8 percent with response students don't know enough about the skating game. 
while 32.8% of students don't get enough time to skate and also 32.8% students refer other sports. Lastly, the 6.4% students are told the, that they don't have skateboard. They don't have any friend that play skateboard and because the female students think that the skateboard park will only allow men to hang out with their friends. Problem 9. Will skate park be a focal point for re recreation? Based on the bar chart, we can see that 44.3% of respondents strongly agree that the skate park will be a great place to hang out. Next, 37.7% only agree that active and active percent intermediate. Lastly, uh, there are 0% for both strongly disagree and disagree. Finally, problem 10. Will skate park be a hub for students to find new friends? From the bar chart, the respondent rate for the mentioned question. The highest is strongly agree with 49.2% followed by agree with 32.8%. After that, intermediate at 18%, we can see that for both strongly disagree and disagree has no respondent or chosen for the respondent. Thus, we can conclude that the respondent will make new friend at the skate park. Solution to solution and question that will be confirmed if a skateboard park project is great will be discussed in this part. Based on the result of the study, they came up with a few alternatives for people who don't have a place to skate and don't know anything about skateboarding. Furthermore, the question to consider is if the skateboard park will be able to attract a large number of students and it will be able to help them release tension. Then there are solutions in terms of skate park development. All of the solutions are listed here in detail. Solution 1. Student in college can actually need a place to skateboard. The place must be safe and suitable for students. Find a place to make a new skateboard park. In, in figure 5.1, it shows that the vast majority of the students are agreed. If we add a new facility, the ticket to be 93.4%. Or 57 of respondents rather than who not agree with approximately 110, which is 6.6% only. In solution 2, students can find a place to find friends or make a friend and also can try to stay if they go, they go to a skate park. If there are many students hanging out at skate park, it will make the place more interesting and more fun. It will attract more students to skate park. In figure 5.5, it shows if the student prefers to skate park or just want to hang out with friends at the skate park. To 26.2%, the student want to try skate boarding. Then, 44.1% choose to challenge themselves to learn something new. And 19.7%, the student says that they only want to hang out with their friends at skate park. Solution 3. Students sometimes may get hungry if, after they skate, we can add food stalls so that it is easy for students to buy food. Or if they are thirsty while skateboard, make a facility to make the place more interesting and can get more students to skate. The following, figure 5.10 shows that the students are demanded to have a beverage stall and it is shown that most students with 63.9%. Then respondents also want to have a food stall at the skate park, which is slightly less than beverage stall with 60.7%. Moreover, the bar graph fractionally goes down to 55.7% for the workshop of equipment and tools. Solution for the figure 5.12 shows the reason why students do not want to participate in skating. The first bar graph shows students that are not interested in skating with 18%. Then the graph highly spikes to 50.9% with students. Students don't know enough about the skating game, while 32.9% of the students don't get enough time to get and also 32.8% students prefer other sports. Lastly, the 6.4% students are told that they don't have a skateboard. They don't have any friend that says skate and because the female students think that the skate park will only for male to hang out with their friends. Solution 5. In the future, to know that the skate park is still used or they are having something new to make sure that the skate park is always used until future and it is not either like that, we can update what makes students attract. From the figure 5.13 shows how potentially students will use skate park in future. The first and second bar strongly disagree with 1.6% each. However, the third bar increases the number that students will intermediately use it with 26.2% voting. And fourth bar spike when students will mostly agree to use skate parks with 42.6%. While the fifth bar marginally with 27.9% strongly agree. Solution C to know what student reaction about the skate park. Do not if there are many like skateboard or many reviews to agree on this survey. To know if there are any objections from students and want to fix what they don't want and at the skate park. Based on the figure 5.15 above, we can see that strongly agree 39.3% with 24 of respondents is higher than every bar is 20, 31.1% which is anti responded and selected the answer refer that if they think that book part is suitable for student applicators. Next, intermediate ratio 27.9% higher than this agree with 1.6% of one respondent. 
and none for a strongly disagree. Now I will continue with my part, the benefit. Get part helps to create and maintain a safe community. Let's get part serves as a meeting place for committed identity after as well as a venue for visitors, young and old, to interact and share their experience. The skate park becomes a second home for many skateboarding people. First benefit of skate park is providing access to environment for skateboarding. Outside of skate park, the majority of skateboarding injuries occur. Fall caused by traffic defect and collisions with motor vehicle or pedestrian are the most injury. Skateboarding will happen whether or not skate park exists. Therefore, the best approach to keep people safe is to give them access to safe in another area where they may practice their sport. Secondly, skate park is damage to private, private society. Skateboarders will use any and every train in their place if there are no authorized skateboard. Metal skateboards as set and beam at perks may cheat, concrete and harm pain, costing hundreds of dollars each year. Skateboarders will have a safe area to follow their passion, while law enforcement, business owners and community members will not respect them. Next, skateboarding also can improve mental health. Skateboarding is one of a kind, sport that blends high intensity with the exercise with perfect muscle coordination and balance. The complexity of the metal on a skateboard increases brain function and stimulate new cell formation in the brain on a fundamental level. The greatest benefit may be sometimes that children are, even, are not even aware they are learning. Skateboarding will help with with eye food coordination and balance, as well as classroom performance. The greatest benefit may be sometimes that people are not even aware they are learning. Skateboarding can help with eye food coordination and balance as well as classroom performance. Lastly, skatepark can give skateboarder a sense of belonging. Some people, more than anybody else, require recognition and appreciation from their community. Later, in many regions, they receive the wrong message from other local people, which ban or outlaw skateboarding while ignoring its synthesis benefit. The answer is skatepark. Every skatepark provides a safe place for people who would otherwise have nowhere to go. Next, management. The organization involved is Minimax, the Department of Student Affairs and Alumni, my team member, the Residential College Representative Council, World of Skate Shop, and Mankara Skate Park. The function of Minimax is to build the skate park. Next, the Department of Student Affairs and Alumni is to give financial support. After that, Student Representative Community and the Residential College Representative Council is to marketing and promote promoting the skate park. Next, my team member function is to calculate estimated cost for building skate park, make survey and do maintenance. Next, will the skate shop is to help us managing the skate park. Lastly, Mankiara Skate Park is to supply the equipment for skateboarders. We need support from many organizations in and out of the to make our project successful. Firstly, from the Department of Student Affairs and Alumni that can help us in financial support and get permission from our management and the to build a skate park. Secondly, we can make a collaboration with students with the community and the Presidential College Representative Council to promote our skate park to us, the skateboarder in the unit. After that, the team member will calculate the estimated cost for building the skate park and give it to the park. Make sure we once a month and what to engage in our skate park and do the maintenance. From the outside, we need one skate park experience on how to manage and take care of our skate park so that it can be used in the long term. Lastly, where the skate park shop is the place where we can get skateboarding equipment while promoting their shop to other people. The conclusion is that all the organizations have their role on the project. Because of that, we must work together to make sure our project runs smoothly. 8.0 Cost. The cost to build a skateboard park is RM10,000 ringgit per unit and the total price is 10,000 ringgit so and we need to uh, prepare a skateboard and safety guard for student to rent because not all of the students have their own skateboard and safety guard so the quantity for skateboard is 50 and the price per unit of the skateboard is 50 ringgit and the total price is 2,500 ringgit for the safety guard we need to prepare a 50 safety guard and the price unit is RM10 so the total price is 500 ringgit and the total price for to build the skateboard park and equipment is 13,000 ringgit 9.0 Conclusion To conclude, a program to build a skateboard park and truck at College Kediaman, Tansir Ashagani, is proposed with the aim to upgrade the Unimap facility. A survey was done for the purpose to know if the program will achieve the aim or not. The survey used a progressive type of sampling where only students who are staying at Kediatek as our respondent were chosen. And when the survey was distributed, there were 61 students who responded to the survey. The survey was done by questionnaire and a total of 32 open-ended and closed-ended questions were asked. The questions are made up of dichotomous and scaled up questions. As an overall view, program to build a skateboard park in trip at Kekatek give a good sign showing by students in Kekatek based on the result of the question. The factor of our problems students skateboarding on the roadway and public area, then causing noise disturbance and endanger themselves while playing on the road, where there are many vehicles also use the same roadway with them. Because of the, because of the lack of knowledge students, 
have about skateboard students do not have skateboard and students also do not have enough money if they need to buy skateboard in the event. Most of the students wasting their free time at home. Thus, this program can help to improve student safety, make less complaints about most disturbance and can make students be more productive with the skating activity. There are few solutions included in this program to be determined the effective way to overcome the problem. All the solutions were listed in the question. Jacketech need a place for students to skateboard. The place must be safe and suitable for students. Then, not all students in Jacketech have a skateboard to skate. Some students are new and want to try to skate. If they want to skate but don't have the skate, therefore, they can rent a skateboard at a cheap price to try new things. If they done, students can go to skate skate park to learn how to skate when they have free time, especially in the evening. Students can have something to do in the free time as a solution. Skateboard park should be built and keep maintained. Therefore, skate park help to create and maintain healthy communities. The skate park will provide a safety environment for skateboarding. Skate park also will reduce damage to private society and will give less harm to pedestrians and pollution with motor vehicles. This program is managed by the Faculty of Chemical Engineering with the help of Unimap staff and the cost predicted is RM30,000. In the end, we sincerely hope that the Unimap top management will consider our proposal for a skateboard park and track at KKT.